Hey everybody, Mr. Sturt here at Math We've Got This. And in this short video, we'll look at how to take an equation in Desmos and produce its very own table of values. Now, first things first, I'm going to insert a different equation. It's still the equation of a line, but it's in a slightly different form. It's in a y equals slope intercept form. So I'm just going to choose a random rate of change. Let's just say a negative rate, so minus 3x, and we'll add on or subtract some other initial value or y-intercept. So when you click on the edit list feature, this will become clear why I'm doing this in a moment or two, but notice that this convert to table feature pops up, but it doesn't appear here. The reason why is that this equation is defined with x and y on both the same side, whereas this one is in a y equals form. Now, when I press convert to table, it very quickly converts or produces a table of values. So by default, Desmos will choose values negative two through positive two, and will calculate all of the corresponding y values for this linear relation. And you can see them here. So all the values from your table are here on the graph. So it's a really great feature. Now in our case, I'm just going to remove this here for now. In our case, this will not plot. So again, the convert to table feature is not there. So what we're going to have to do is take this equation and convert it into a y equals form, uh, which can be pretty quick actually, but I will show all of my steps. So what we're going to do is we'll balance this equation out. We're going to create a zero pair with the x term on the left-hand side. And what we do to one side, as you know, we're going to balance it on the other. So I'm going to subtract 2x from the left-hand side. And we already had positive 6 there to begin with. Now notice what happens here is that the line that was red is now green. So meaning that the equation that's here explains the same line. And it also shows us that the algebra, or at least the steps we're taking, are correct steps. So that's very reassuring. So last but not least, I'll add one more expression. And given that this is a zero pair, we are left with y equals negative 2x plus 6. And again, lo and behold, let me change the color. So I want to make, uh, just to add emphasis here, I'll change that to green. So notice what happens, and I'll make that one blue. OK. So notice what happens. So we started out with the red line. The blue line overlaps, perform the steps to balance that equation out by isolating or to isolate the y term. And here we are, the green, the green line is overlapping. So we have correctly converted from this form to a y equals form. Last but not least, if you want to make your table, again, click on that edit list feature, convert to table, and then you've got yourself a table of values.